Yeah, that's what I'm following. This is my wife actually recording the people. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Yeah, I've spotted them. So, do you want to know how labor has been able to do what it just did? I don't know. All buttons. Absolute. All buttons. Very simple details. That's right. He tried to get me, but he couldn't get me a five again. For the past 30 years, I've worked as an intelligence analyst and investigator for private things. My specialty is corporate forensics. Just want to swim around and close up on the police that are sitting there watching, because that's just taxpayers' money, you know. And discrepancies for. And then old Nikon P900 as well, awesome as I know. If it wants to actually focus. That um, people would vote for a political party. And then for the next three years, they would complain about the fact that the party didn't do what they promised in the, um, when they were electing. Or they went totally off the rails and, oh, the and had started to pass laws that the people were voting. Then, three years, would go by and then the country would change colors again from blue to red, red to blue, blue to red, over and over. But the only thing I saw changing was the colors. Nothing else was changing. Gotcha. And the other fun thing that I found is New Zealand is not a democracy. It is a democracy for 12 hours, one day, every three years, on voting. For the rest of the time, all the 94 days out of the house, it's a part of the Section 4 of the Bill of Rights Act, I'm going to read this just to make sure it's absolutely worth it. Section 4 of the Bill of Rights Act, every tiny section, it is only four lines long, make it Those four lines of Section 4 give the government the power to make laws that override any and all of that bill and your rights. That's been the elephant in the room for 30 years, and no one said anything, anything about it, particularly the government, because this is how they can do it. Witness what happened after the Christchurch attacks. Okay, instant gun control laws without any due process. No more credible historical data. I mean, this is not Chicago, folks. In, in one weekend, they'll have more shootings than our entire history. The unfounded lengthy countrywide lockdown, the erosion of property rights, many of you don't know this, without any vote, referendum, or legal recourse. They're calling them, no, they're calling them SNAs, significant nature areas. What it is, is Agenda 20, uh, UN 2030 that is an operation here in New Zealand today. Did you vote for that? Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Sue talked about uh, the, uh, the COVID-19 Public Health Response Act which gave themselves uh, police powers and mandatory vaccinations. This Labour New Zealand First Green government has stripped its citizens of more rights than any other government in New Zealand history. This is not how a democracy works. 
Reset New Zealand didn't start out as a party. It was simply a web website where I document the serious democratic flaws that I found in New Zealand political system. And it can be summed up very simply. New Zealand has no constitution. It has a broken Bill of Rights. It does not have any checks or balances in the law. Not one. There is no government transparency, regardless of what you think and what the, poli the parties tell you. So two things happened for me. First, National Party announced that they stood in support for mandatory vaccination. What the heck? That meant if we kicked labor out and we put blue back in power, that we, we would be faced again with the same exact violation of our human rights. We've changed colors. Nothing's changed. And then the second thing that happened was the, the government voting themselves the extreme police powers under the COVID Act. On that day, I added one tiny word to uh, my website name, party. Because the only right solution is to bowl the entire system and start again. This time, with a real constitution, a bill of rights to act as a foundation for the laws, which includes full checks and balances inherent to them. A full government reset is the only way to ensure that we don't continue to be played and screwed over. Do you want a real, real democracy? Yes. We're seizing our chance to do that, to set things right for all New Zealanders. Thank you. Woo! <laughs>